Okay, so that's using the notes in that blue scale, except I'm not, it's not quite the flat of dirt, but it's close enough. I'm blowing the first hole, I'm blowing the second hole, trying to drop it down half a step. I'm drawing the second hole, a full bend, then I bring it up half a step, then I'm drawing it uh, natural, or I could go to the third blow for that. And then I go to the third hole, uh, draw half step for the flat of seventh, and then hit the four back to the one, or the one back to the one. So that would be um, the first hole blow, which would mean you're in first position. Now that means that by practicing that blue skill on that there on that on starting on the one hole, that is also your um, four in cross harp and your uh, five in third position. So just right there, by practicing that and then going further up the harmonica and practicing it and just getting as many of those blue notes as you can. And if you can't get them all, then just get what you can. But that's by practicing that particular, uh, those phrases on, on starting on the first whole blow and then moving up the rest of the harmonica, that is not only uh, good for first position, but again, emphasized for third position, five, on your five, and uh, second position, cross harp, for your four, and uh, and other later other uh, it's good for other things too in, in the further positions. But I'm just talking about. I mean, it's all good no matter what. But the point I'm trying to make is that it fits in with what you're doing. Um, the most, with the most common positions being first, second, and third, and uh, going on up to fourth and fifth and further, uh, they're a little bit, they're, they're not, you don't hear them played in general by that many people, and particularly played well by that many people. So, uh, <laughs> That little thing there is just a chord thing with my tongue uh, covering the uh, four, three, two. So instead of okay, so have fun with that. All right, and uh, you know that's just the first hole blow. If you uh, draw the first hole, you're in, you're into a uh, third position. So you're getting like a... <laughs> well, this is clogged up. But that being said, I'll just say, since I got into it, I'll say if the first hole draw is the one, the second hole draw is uh, a full step bend, 
is your um, line of third. So let's see, am I right about that? Okay, I gotta check this out. Uh, yeah. So it'd be like this. Okay, then third hole uh, blow or third second hole draw is going to be your four. And then um, your third hole um, draw, uh, let's see, your third hole draw full step is going to be your five, uh, so you want to go down uh, third hole draw half step to get the flat, to get the flat of fifth, so it would be like this. That's your four, that's first it's your one, that's your flat of third, this is your four, which is your third hole blow or second hole draw. And then you want to go down um, a half a step, which is hard. To, and then because you got to do another half step to catch the five, so you, what you're after is the flatted five and the five. So It's easier coming back, <laughs> especially if the notes don't clog up. So when you come back, it's the fourth hole draw, fourth hole blow. And then the third hole draw, full step, then, and then bring it up half set. And then blow the third, or draw the, the two. And then draw the uh, two a full step. So really practice that third hole um, bend. You can get two, three half step bends on that third hole. This particular harmonica is an A harmonica. The third hole draw natural is a G sharp. Now I should be able to get from G sharp to an F. And what I'm after in this third hole uh, draw bend is I'm after um, the first half bend, which is the flat fifth, and then the second part of that, the second half bend, which is the full bend, which is the five. And then um, I'll hit the uh, blow four for the flat of the seven, and then the draw four for the one. Now um, I want to just practice this third hole draw. So if I go that far with that third hole draw bend one and a half steps, that's too far. Just check it out here. That's natural. So I have to go above that third hole, a full one and a half step bend, hit that. So it's hard to do straight off. You gotta practice it and practice it, and I haven't done it enough to completely get it. However, it doesn't really matter. If you can hint at it, you know, and you get close enough, Nobody's gonna notice. Oh, he's off a little bit, you know. You know your band's playing, and you're going like. <laughs> Nobody's gonna know. Oh, he's off uh, a few degrees on that um, third hole. Uh, ben, in, in fact, he got the. Uh, he went too far. He's. Um, now he has to back up. Oh, if you can only get it a little bit closer, oh, my ears will be happier. I don't think people are going to think like that. I think they're going to be drinking, having a good time, and, uh, or whatever. Just, I don't think they're going to be thinking like that. But you'll know if you hit it or not. And that's why it's important to practice hitting it, really hitting it, so that uh, using a, uh, a tuner or a keyboard or whatever to, or practicing it with a guitar friend or whatever. practicing it yourself, but you have a rack. 
but you play guitar. So it's good to practice those those bands on those uh, second and third hole to get them clear. So three natural, two natural, and the three that would be three natural with the three half step bend. Two natural with the two half step bend. And then one. With the half step bend, I think that would be that. So that would be hitting it all the way down and bringing it up each half step. Which makes it easier when you do the, um, when you're in third position, to be able to nail it instead of me like I was doing, I'm practicing the ball and I was just guessing at it. Anyway, practice those bands for sure on those low on those lower notes, and um, it'll make your life easier as you go for the rest of the harmonica. Of course, uh, bending the fourth hole draw that is the same thing as the um, that's giving you a cross harp your pressure note your. Um, you're flat at fifth. And the four would be the four blow. And then the four uh, draw uh, is your five flat. So. It makes it much easier when it doesn't clog. But if I'm going. Anyway, I think you're all getting it in this little dark video. I hope so. Anyway, so practice those lower bends, and then when you hit that four, it's much, it's just going to be easier because you're practicing the lower bend on the one. Okay, y'all. Have a good afternoon, morning, evening. Let's see. Morning, evening, noon, or night. Wherever you are in this crazy mixed up world. Next time I should put on more lights, I suppose. But it's early morning here. Still dark. Sort of. Okay. Bye-bye, y'all.